Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in ASP.NET how to bind JSON data into a grid view control using C Sharp programming. See here we got the output. This is a grid view 2. The JSON data is binded into a grid view control. Employee name, email and salary. Employee name, email and salary. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. In my previous video, I have shared how to export grid view to Excel. If you missed that video, at the end of this video tutorial, you will get that link. Let's open Visual Studio coding part. This is a code we have just seen the output on the browser. What I am doing after the button control, I am adding one horizontal line. After horizontal line, I am adding one grid view control. Go to toolbox. I'm expanding the data folder grid view and here we got the grid view control after adding the grid view control open solution explorer notice in my project I have already added that emp.json data file let's open that one and this is a JSON data and I want to add this JSON data into this grid view control. Let's switch to the coding part aspx.cs file come to the bottom here I am creating a one new method public data table json data display is a method name Now in this method I am adding a stream reader class sr is equals to new stream reader. Now in this stream reader I am adding the path server dot map path method. Now I am adding the JSON file URL path here in this server dot map path between double quotes tilt slash here I am adding the JSON file name. The JSON file name is emp.json. The dot JSON. String JSON is equals to sr dot read to end method. Creating a variable table is equals to. Now we are implementing the JSON functionality, but to implement the JSON functionality in our project we need to add the JSON DLL library so by default that DLL library is not available in our project let's add the JSON DLL libraries open solution explorer I'm expanding the references folder notice there is no any JSON DLL library in this references folder let's add the json dll library right click the references manage nudget packages click that one in the nudget package interface notice the first one is a newton soft.json dll library is there click that one if it's not available in this list just search in the newton soft.json file i'm installing the latest json dll library click OK see here we got a message successfully installed in the output message let's close this one and also notice the tick mark here which means the DLL library is successfully installed into our project let's close this nugget package open solution explorer now we got the newton soft.json DLL library is added in our project Let's add the namespace using newtonsoft.json. Come to the bottom. JSON convert dot 
deserialize object here I'm adding the data table the string value is JSON A return table the variable now let's bind this JSON data display method into a grid view control in the page load event grid view 2 dot data source is equals to let's copy this one paste here grid view 2 dot data bind method that's it let's check the output I'm rerunning the browser link see here we got the output this is a grid view 2 the JSON data is binded into a grid view control employee name email and salary employee name email and salary that's it